Live from the 215 is Kenny Sparks with the Five Nights at Freddy review. I just saw Five Nights at Freddy two times actually. Once last week I went to the theater to actually go support the film and then instead of watching the movie, the movie watched me because I fell asleep immediately. It was no fault of the movie in and of itself but I was very tired and I went to the theater trying to relieve some stress because the theater is my sanctuary and the theater ended up being more than a sanctuary and ended up being a beduary. So what I will say about my experience there is that all of the crowd around me and there was a big crowd around me actually, they seemed to be enjoying the themselves they were laughing they were cheering at the end of the movie they were giving a standing ovation so it was a pretty cool experience even though i was only half conscious during most of it but i came home and today i watched it again and i gotta tell you guys i wasn't a big fan of it <coughs> essentially my biggest issues with it is that the movie is not particularly smart in any way shape or form now it does have some good parts to it let's talk about the animatronics of our evil Chuck E. cheese guys it looked fantastic like seriously in all of the the muck and mire the things i didn't like about this movie they were really cool like they looked great um they sounded great the way that they moved their design all of that translated really well to the screen so props to the production team on that particular aspect of the movie as well as the main setting at freddy's i think that that environment was really cool now Honestly, I'm going to say that the good parts of that movie pretty much ends there because the story is weak sauce. And I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that. If this is a game that you really enjoy, enjoy it. I'm not telling you not to. If this was a movie you really enjoy, I'm also not telling you not to enjoy that. I will never tell you not to enjoy the things that you enjoy, even if I don't enjoy it. That's corny. That's, that's not something that you do. I think the biggest issue for me was at some point during the movie, it just stopped making sense. Let's start with the police officer character. What kind of cop is this person? Like she just stays all night at Freddy's and it just kind of comes off as silly at some points because every time she shows up, she gets more and more suspicious. And I won't even get into spoilers in terms of like where her character ends up going, but it wasn't believable. There were so many things that happened during the course of this movie that were like, why didn't you just do that? Couldn't you have just, but, but why wouldn't you? I just, I was doing that so much during the second act and to the third act of the movie that I was just like, yo, we gotta try a little bit better. There's a particular scene in this movie where robbers come and they're trying to break in in order to disrupt the main character's life and livelihood. But the time that they break in makes zero cents not even at work he can't take the blame there's nothing for him to be blamed for and they saw him anyway so i said i wouldn't get into spoilers i'm, I'm going to stop there then we get to our main villain our main bad guy and i gotta tell you guys also weak sauce it just didn't make any sense in how he was defeated really so i i there's not much I can say without spoiling the movie. I really wish I liked this movie more. I really enjoyed the trailers earlier this year, both of them. I know some people didn't like the trailers, but I was really into it. It's not a game I'm familiar with. It's not a lore I'm familiar with. So I was uh, I was curious, and unfortunately my curiosity was not rewarded. All right, y'all, did y'all see the movie? How'd you feel about it? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>